What can a 99 euro network player bring you? Spotify, Tidal, Cobus and Amazon streaming? Sure. Amazon Alexa voice control? That too. Like Apple AirPlay and Bluetooth. Of course also internet radio via TuneIn, iHeartRadio, VTuner and more. Sounds great, but what about the sound quality? As usual we start with the integration of the Wii Mini in your stereo. It is to be connected to the AUX inputs on your amp using the included 3.5mm jack to RCA cable. Connection to the network is over Wi-Fi only, which will enable playing music from the internet and from a share on your computer or NAS. The Mini is controlled using a free smartphone app, both Android and iOS are supported. There is no special iPad version, you have to use the iPhone version enlarged. An analog source like the analog output of your TV or your MP3 player can be connected to the 3.5mm input jack. If you have a DAC or an amplifier with integrated DAC you can connect the Mini using the included Toslink cable. The Mini, as the name implies, is a small plastic puck measuring 69mm in diameter and 24mm high. It weighs no more than 40 grams. On top we see three touch sensitive controls, one for volume up, one for play pause and one for volume down. Along the edge we see the 3.5mm AUX in jack, the 3.5mm output jack, the USB-C connector that is to be connected to the Walworld power supply and the digital output in the shape of a Toslink connector. To be honest, there is not much to tell about the inside. On the top side of the circuit board we find a shielded area that will contain the Wi-Fi radios and perhaps the microprocessor. I found what probably is a DRAM memory module. The other components on this side of the board had their part numbers removed. The smaller board on the right is plugged on top of the main board and makes contact with the touch sensitive top. The rear of the board also has only one chip that is identifiable, the 9 year old Burr Brown PCM5121 DAC chip. Although I hardly ever show my measurements since it can't prove how good equipment sounds, this time I show some measurements since they might have impact on the sound quality. The first shows the frequency response. It's nice flat up to 6 kHz, from where the left channel jumps up 0.6 dBs. The right channel follows at 10 kHz. Although a 6 dB rise at 6 kHz will probably be inaudible as such, we will see it back in the THD plus N measurements, total harmonic distortion plus noise. At 4 kHz the left channel rises with a factor of 10 and the right channel follows at 8 kHz. I have measured both review samples so it is safe to presume that this is a typical behaviour of the Mini. Let's wait and see what that does sound wise. But first the operational side. I was sent two samples so I could review the multi-room function, yes it does that too. They were easily linked to the network using the WIMP app. You first have to allow the WIMP app to access your location. This is probably done to set the Wi-Fi mode to the right country. You can also allow for once, excuse for the Dutch language here. You then return to the WIMP app and click OK. You are then asked to check if the light on the WIMP Mini is blinking. It then starts searching the Mini. When found, it asks to select your Wi-Fi network. When chosen it connects the Mini to that. It will automatically set up the connection. This might take a minute or so, so I'll speed it up a bit. It will then check for updates and consequently start setting up Amazon Alexis if you want. Since I don't have an account, I'll skip that. I had already set up the Mini for the family room and now added the kitchen. I had the name changed from a generic name to kitchen. Then you can choose a source like for instance Tidal if you have an account and fill out the login details. 
but you can also play music from your smartphone or from your computer or NAS running a DNLA server. Like here for instance the Minim server on a 99 Euro Synology DS109J NAS with 3 terabyte storage. Let's go for the lovely music by Anne Pierre Lee. I'll select the album Helium Sunset and play the track Sunset. If you now want to couple the kitchen to the family room, we choose devices at the bottom of the screen and tick the box of the kitchen player. You can set volume independently or set the combined volume. The app feels rather robust, logical and responsive. I use setup 3 where the amplification is taken care of by the NAD C360 BEE. The loudspeakers are the more than short Avant 902s connected to the amp over Kimber 2PR loudspeaker cable. The Mini was connected to the amp over a 3.5 mm jack to RCA cable that came with the unit. Connection to the network was of course over Wi-Fi to the TP-Link Deco 5 mesh network. The Mini produced a shallow stereo image with limited resolution and somewhat harsh eyes. It's perfectly fine for the 600 Euro stereo in a box, but limited the sound quality of my setup 3 clearly. What's there to expect from a 99 Euro streamer? Veeam does have potentially an interesting streaming platform. It is a fresh idea, at least to me, to have a smartphone do all the work and use the Mini as a network bridge, a dumb player that receives music from the smartphone and it converts it to either analog sound or optical digital sound. The Mini is a fine product for those that are not into hi-fi as a hobby and let's hope Wim comes with a product that uses the same streaming platform but with a higher sound quality. And on that bombshell we come to the end of this video. As usual there will be a new video next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you on the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.